Developing tonight, Chopper 4 is live over Opelika. Miami-Dade police on the scene at a mail facility that could be connected to the nationwide terror scares. Good evening. This afternoon, CBS learned investigators were focusing on Florida. A short time later, sources narrowed it down to South Florida. And now we're watching a law enforcement presence at that mail facility in Opelika. Let's go there live right now. CBS Force Ty Russell is in Opelika with uh, what activity is going on there, Ty? Yeah, Elliot, since our live shot at 6 o'clock, we've noticed this activity right behind the mailing facility in Opelika. We've noticed several Miami-Dade police units parked right in the back of the facility. They arrived here at the request of the FBI and postal inspectors. Now, CBS News says some of the packages with pipe bombs may have gone through this facility. Now, a live look from above gives us a bird's eye view of the facility near the Miami Opelika Executive Airport. Now, a senior law enforcement source tells CBS News officers were called to do a sweep of this facility and there were no devices found here. Now all those packages sent to prominent Democrats and President Trump critics had the name of Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz on them and the return address as her sunrise office. Now she spoke tonight at a rally for a gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum. My brave staffers and I saw those weapons of hate up close this week. But I know Everyone in this room and so many others will always choose love, compassion, and honest communication to make our world a better place. We will never be cowed into submission by people who hate. Never. <laughs> never. And that was the... That was the Congresswoman's first public appearance since her Sunrise office was evacuated yesterday. Now, a live look overhead again as investigators work here. They are not saying how long they will be at this mailing facility, but CBS News is reporting officials are also checking surveillance video at neighboring businesses as, they, as the search heats up to find who is responsible. Now, back live on the ground here, the FBI is still asking for the public's help, especially as the focus of this investigation centers right here in South Florida. For now, we are live in Opelika. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.